Hello everyone, this is Pastor Miguel from the Children's Bread Deliverance Ministry Church here in Maryland. Today I want to talk to you about one of the main reasons why Christians are tormented. A lot of Christians don't know why they're being tormented. And there's a particular sin that causes torment, causes these demonic torments to happen. And it's a very serious sin. God takes it very seriously. And you could be a very good Christian. You could go to church. You could read the Word of God. You could pray often and still be tormented. And this particular sin is the sin of unforgiveness. Now, I we deal with a lot of people who love the Lord but are unwilling to forgive other people who have done them harm. And I understand people have done to you possibly very horrible things. But the Lord makes it clear that we have to forgive others. Why? Because God has forgiven much from you. You are not perfect. You have done some evil things in your life. And God has forgiven you for that. As a matter of fact, if you confess your sins to God, regardless of what they are, you're repentant, God is faithful to forgive you. So in return, He expects you to forgive your brother. Okay? And so there's various parables in the Bible that talk about unforgiveness. The most popular one is found in Matthew 18, verse 21 to 35. It's the parable of the unforgiven servant. And this parable is about a servant that was forgiven much, and he saw someone that owed him money, and he beat him up, I think, and he placed him in, a, in, in prison. And so we see that the master turns over the, um, the servant to the tormentors, the unforgiven servant, to the tormentors. And so the tormentors are demons. And so the Bible says he will do this to you if you're unable to forgive others. Okay? So it's a very popular uh, scripture. It's found in uh, parable. It's found in chapter 18, verse 21 to 35. I suggest you read that and see what God does to people who are unable to forgive. Okay? The next thing I'm going to talk about is the next scripture I'm going to talk about is found in Matthew 5. And it talks about, um, you know, if you have a problem with your um, with your brother, go and make up with your brother first before you bring any offerings to me. So I want you to keep that in mind because a lot of people, you know, have unforgiveness and they think God is going to listen to them. And that's not true. He's not going to. Okay, so it tells you here. In, in chapter 5, uh, verse 23, I'm going to start from verse 20, 23 and I'm going to go on. It says, Therefore, if you bring a gift to the altar, and there remember that your brother has something against you. So it's telling you, Therefore, if you bring a gift to the altar, and there remember that your brother has something against you, leave your gift before the altar and go your way. Right. So, first reconcile with your brother, and then... Come and offer your gift. So God doesn't want your gift if you have unforgiveness. If you cannot forgive your brother, God doesn't even want your gift. Okay? Um, so, you know, you, you it, this is again talking about prison. Okay? So check this out. It says, I grieve with your adversary quickly while you're on the way with him. Lest your adversary deliver you to the judge and the judge hands you over to the officer, the demon. And you'll be thrown into prison. I assuredly say to you, you will be, uh, you will by no means get out of there until you have paid the last penny. Now, you know, a lot of people read that and say, oh, he's talking about purgatory. That's not purgatory. Purgatory is not a real place. It doesn't exist. It's not uh, a biblical thing. This is telling you about the fact that you, you have to forgive people. God won't, you know, your sins won't be forgiven. If you don't forgive other people. Now, like I said, forgiveness of others doesn't mean that you go and you hug the person you tell them you love them. It means that you tell, you know, you tell God that you turn these people over to him for him to deal with them. And, you know, if you can't do it, if you can't forgive other people, I want you to go on YouTube and type in family forgives murder of their family member. And, and the YouTube is full of the court systems in the courts, courts where we see family members reading um, letters saying 
how they forgive the murder of their family members. Some of them are, you know, forgiving their daughters who have been murdered by these criminals. And they forgive. Why? Why are they doing this? Because they're Christians and they love the Lord. Right? So I know that's very hard to do. It's a hard thing to do when somebody has done horrible things to you. But I want you to know it's it's required of us to forgive others. Your sins won't be forgiven unless you're able to forgive others. Okay? God bless you guys. I know this is a very interesting topic and people don't know why they're sometimes they're tormented. This is the reason why, okay? God bless you guys. Take care.